Welcome to Wonder Time! Today we're going to meet some of the men who wrote the Gospels. The Gospel is, are the books of the Bible that tells us about Jesus' life, death, and resurrection. It is from these books that we know that Jesus is alive. Say it with me. Jesus is alive! So first, we meet Matthew. Matthew used to be a sinful tax collect collector. While he was collecting money for the government, he would collect even more and keep some of the money for himself. And this was a very wrong thing to do. But when he met Jesus, his life was changed. He stopped being a dishonest tax collector and followed Jesus. Matthew's life showed us that Jesus has power to change lives. Now, let's meet Mark. Mark's name was actually John Mark. His mother was a follower of Jesus, and often Jesus' disciples would meet at their house to pray and worship. John Mark even went with the Apostle Paul on one of his journeys. But John Mark left before it was over, and then Paul didn't want him to come on future journeys. Perhaps Paul wondered how dedicated he was to Jesus. But God worked in John Mark's life, and he ended up writing the book of Mark in the New Testament. Later, Paul even asked John Mark to join him. Mark's life showed that Jesus has power to change lives. The next writer is Luke. Can you guess what Luke's job was? Luke was a doctor. He traveled with the Apostle Paul and helped tell people about Jesus. Luke was a historian who is someone that records history. He actually wrote two books in the New Testament, the Gospel of Luke and the Book of Acts. Luke went through many difficult things as he helped tell people about Jesus. Luke's life showed that Jesus has a power to change lives. Finally, let's meet John. For about three years, John walked and talked with Jesus and listened to him teach. Later in his life, John suffered a lot for Jesus, even being sent to live on an island all by himself. John wrote several books of the New Testament, the Gospel of John, three letters called 1 John, 2 John, and 3 John, and the book of Revelation. John stayed true to following Jesus until he died. John's life showed that Jesus has the power to change lives. Jesus is still changing people's lives today. If you believe in Jesus as your Savior, He has changed your life. The change in you means you are evidence that Jesus is alive and changing lives. You can read the four Gospels and read about what Jesus said and did. John wrote in his Gospel that many, many more books could have been written about Jesus. And if all of these books were written, it would be too many to fill all the bookshelves in the world. Imagine how many books that would be. If you are looking for a place to read in your Bible, the Gospel of Mark is a good place to start. Mark tells a lot of exciting stories about the things Jesus said and did. As you read, ask God to show you something new about Jesus you hadn't realized before. Thank God that Jesus saved, changes lives. Ask God to help you see verses that can help you explain to others that Jesus is alive. Will you start reading the Gospel of Mark this week?